What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today is a very special day. It is a Saturday in November and we've got visitors from the UK. This is Jab's car and he took it all the way from London on this little truck right here. Uh, for us, bye Martin for us to drive it on the Autobahn. Uh, his company, partsblockuk.co.uk. Uh, this is his company. He supplies all these tuning parts for mainly JDM cars. That is loud. So he sourced all the parts for this crazy build. This is their shop car, their promotional car. And today I'm going to review it. I'm going to show you around it quickly and then we'll take it for a drive at the Autobahn and uh, I'll show you what it can do over there. But before we begin, make sure you're subscribed, turn on notifications if you want to be updated uh, when we upload a new video. And you can also check out Jabs on Instagram, jabs.sx. Uh, you can check out Parts Plug on Instagram and I'll link the website in the description as well. They are having a Black Friday sale uh, soon, so make sure you check them out if you're in need for some tuning parts. So, uh, what is it? Did I say what it is? I, I don't think so. This is a Nissan Skyline GTR R32. This is the original Godzilla. Uh, it was named Godzilla by an Australian magazine, I think, um, back in 89. And well, the name stuck. This R32 is the original Godzilla. It's not the first GTR. There were two before it in the 70s. But this is, after 16 years, this was the first time it returned. And it is legendary. Um, of course, any GTR is cool, but I really love this one. I love the simplicity of it and the just the 80s and 90s-ness of it. There are a lot of parts on this car. I'm not going to cover everything. We're just going to walk around it and I'll show you uh, these beautiful wheels. 18-inch, two-piece wheels with an awesome color. That is just beautiful. That sort of copperish color really awesome love the look of this and then behind that we've got brembo brakes with race pads so there is a bit of squeaking going on and then we've got these michelin pilot sport four tires this is really good because that means that even on a day like today with this car that's pushing a thousand horsepower uh, with this kind of temperature it is still very drivable now we've also got this wide body kit on the car as you can see down there as well and this is much wider than stock uh, i've never actually seen one with this wide body kit and it looks really awesome it makes the car super 80s very squared off uh, it kind of reminds me this rear section of like a koenig ferrari remember those <laughs> really really cool so this is jabs's instagram jabs.sx uh, the wrap has been done by endless works which also looks really cool, fits the car very well. And then at the rear, we've got the classic four round tail lights, the, well, now legendary look, and uh, with Skyline on there as well. And then we've got this massive exhaust. Look at that. That is absolutely humongous. Just one straight pipe front to rear, I think. Um, yeah, it is. A freaking crazy car this so as I said it's the shop car of parts plug uk parts plug uk and uh, it's been tuned by red line tuning all right so as you can see this is not a stock engine this is the rb26 dett a legendary engine as well the straight six it used to have two turbos um, but this is a single turbo setup so it's got a massive garrett turbo right there uh, i mean there is just too much for me to list so everything has been done it's a completely built engine uh, so i'll put a list of all the mods in the description so you guys can check out uh, the amount of parts and work that have gone into this engine uh, normally with this amount of power you would have like a stroked engine uh, this is still a 2.6 liter and it is probably 
the most powerful RB26 in the UK and in Europe. Um, it is a freaking beast. And then linked to that, we've got a Fitzner performance gearbox. So that is a sequential gearbox, which just makes this car even more ridiculous and extreme. Now I have already recorded the Ultiman POV um, and we are missing a part, which is the power steering belt, which is supposed to be on there. Um, it just blew off. So I'm going to do the POV review without power steering. Shouldn't be a problem. It's just, you know, the steering is very heavy, but uh, should be okay. But now you know, in case you think I'm really working that steering wheel, that's why. Um, yeah, so go check out the list of all the mods in the description so you know what has been done. Uh, we are... Uh, that's Martijn. So, that's that. Uh, we are currently running this stuff right here. So this is Sonoco race fuel based on Octane 104 and then uh, with E85. Uh, we are currently running around 60% ethanol and that should mean that we are close to a thousand horsepower it's it's difficult to say around 950 980 something like that uh, in high boost in mid boost should be around 750 horsepower uh, so the interior pretty much stock even got these stock seats which are super nice and retro and then we've got this nismo steering wheel with two special buttons one is for launch control i think uh, and then of course we've got the sequential gear lever right there uh, which is just awesome a lot of dash screens right there to keep everything in check and uh, yeah it, it is a crazy car we've even got the roll cage in the rear so a, a half cage super nice now they used to run a five-speed manual gearbox in this car i think um, but as you'll see this gearbox really it, it just makes this car it's the experience is like nothing else i've ever driven and uh well i just want to say thank you to uh jabs and everyone at parts plug uk uh it, it just blows my mind that you guys came over here and let me drive this car really really awesome oh look at that key that is beautiful gorgeous okay so i'll start it up So you can already hear that this is going to be insane, right? Um, yeah, I think we're just going to drive it. Oh, seatbelt is on this side, of course. Now, this car does obviously come with a bit of a user manual. So if you see me struggling at all, don't worry. It is normal. Uh, we're going to start in mid boost 1.6 bar. So, reverse, find the biting point. There it is, and then a little throttle. Oh, the steering is really heavy. <laughs> okay, so, neutral, clutch up, clutch in, first gear. There we go. No power steering on the Autobahn. That's the first time. Okay. So we're just going to warm up the car a bit. And you guys can see, hear, feel what it's like. Warm up those tires a bit as well. So we can do a second gear acceleration. So I'll talk you through some of the stuff uh, that Chaps taught me how to drive this car. So you lift the throttle a little bit when you shift up in normal driving like this. Um, 
and of course once you're past 80% throttle I think uh, you can just flat foot shift basically and just keep the pedal down uh, downshifting just tap the clutch and that's really really easy and just the the lever action this feels like a 50 caliber sniper you're handling so getting into driving this car I have to say it does take a while you know it does take you 10 minutes to sort of figure everything out and feel the car how does the car respond to your inputs and I mean I have to say that Of course, it's intimidating to drive a car like this for the first time. Right hand drive, sequential gearbox, you know, pushing a thousand horsepower, but it's actually quite manageable. Uh, if you would list all those things in advance, you would say, well, that's, that's quite a difficult thing to handle. But once you get, you know, to grips with it, and you understand each other, sort of. It is a freaking joy to drive. It, man, I can imagine Jabs has a lot of fun in this car. I mean, if you really know this thing, man. with a little more input that happens oh my god <laughs> that is absolutely mental this is this this is the craziest thing I have ever driven I mean honestly how couldn't it be? <laughs> oh my god! That is absolutely insane! Oh my god! It is so intense! This gearbox, it just adds something insane. Oh. <laughs> Holy moly! Holy moly, that is freaking insane. So Pulling that lever, pulling that back gear, it, it, it sends this jolt through the car, this freaking shock wave. Oh, my, my indicator's been on for 10 minutes, sorry. Uh, but this shock wave that goes through the car is, is so nice. It, it feels so mechanical. But also shifting like normally, not on through full throttle and lifting your foot a little bit, it makes it pretty smooth uh, a shift. So driving it is really not that intimidating. Of course, the power is freaking insane and you really have to pay attention, but wow. All right, so this of course was a little warm up in mid boost. Uh, now let's switch to high boost. So we'll put that on Bismillah which is start in the name of gold, basically. And it, uh, Jabs told me that it's just to remind you uh, of gold when you go to high boost, which is, I quite like that humor. All right, so here we go. High boost, second gear, 
feels amazing. Oh, don't have power steering. Forgot about that for a second. There we go. Oh, oh my God, guys, this, this, this car is ruining me for other cars again. It's happening again. Oh, fuck. It's a fire extinguisher, don't worry. The fire extinguisher is leaking. Third gear high boost. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> Holy moly! Oh, I'm breathing in the stuff from the fire extinguisher. That's not healthy. Oh, but this car. <laughs> this car is ridiculous. I, I did a run before in the Ultima PUV with less ethanol. We're now at 60%, as I said. Is that where is it there that's like 2.3 tur 2.4 bar turbo pressure and that should be around 950 980 horsepower it is absolutely insane this car it it just warms my heart oh, oh and the sequential oh, <laughs> oh my god this is... I, I am having a crisis right now. Holy freaking moly. This is... <laughs> this is insane. Uh, so I did a couple of 100 to 200 runs in the Ultima PUV and I was able to do like 4.7 I think. Um, we should be able to go up better this time actually because we have more boost now. All right, I just connected the draggy, uh, so we should be able to do a couple of better runs this time because we have more boost. But man, this is a freaking beast. This is Godzilla, not the stock car. The stock car is a freaking puppy dog. This is Godzilla. Oh man, or this, at least this is what I imagine it feels like being, I don't know, Hugged by Godzilla or something, you know? My goodness, what a car. I'm getting a hold of the clutch now too. It's it's not it's not that difficult. It is a triple plate. So um, it, it, it is quite difficult to sort of get there to manage it, but once you sort of feel where it is. It is fine. Oh. And the cool thing about these, this car is that once you feel comfortable with it, you feel comfortable to you know push it a little further every time you drive it. And that just the car just rewards you. Okay, so let's do uh, another 100 to 200 run. Third gear. Nine. 4.19 holy moly that is freaking quick <laughs> oh my god 4.2 seconds that is much quicker than it was before so yeah we are definitely hitting the right boost there my god ah. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous 
Okay, so now we have a digital speedo. That's good as well because the speedo won't go past 180. It's from 91, I think. Um, how does it feel that good? That is a 3.9 second 200 to 250 run. That is, that's crazy. Oh my God, I am freaking in love with this. Listen to that blow off. And I absolutely love it. I love the fact that it doesn't feel that, I don't know, it doesn't feel that crazy once you've driven it you know, for a few minutes. So let's try second gear. Oh, it just grips. So we've got, of course, the four wheel drive system from the R32 GTR. Uh, Jab told me that. It's basically rear wheel drive until it loses traction and then it switches on the front wheels. Um, but man, once you get those Michelin's nice and hot, it is absolutely fine. It's got loads of grip. And I am going to have very special dreams about this gearbox, but my GoPro is dying, so I'm going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button. Don't forget to check out Parts Plug UK. Check them out on Instagram. Check out their website and their Black Friday sale. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Bye guys.